That's why many of us feel like they're burned out because they care too much about other people. It's because they don't actually unlock the valve. They just keep it closed and then give away what little they have. You gotta open the valve. A way to open the valve is to give, to be generous, in all way, every way. Anytime you feel like you can, anytime you feel like you want. But you have to also investigate the idea that lack exists and dispel it. That really opens the flow of abundance. Why can I give to you? I can give to you because I'm not lacking. How can I feel good about giving that which I love and appreciate to you, to someone else? That shirt I just bought, I gave it to you. <gasps> oh, oh, there's this little sting, this moment of sting. I just I spent hours shopping. I found the perfect shirt. I bought it, and now it seems like you actually need it or desire it. I'm not saying you should give that away every time. I'm saying you can, and at least experiment with it. Otherwise, the wisdom can never be gained on top of that love. The love has to come first, in a sense. You cannot start with wisdom. You have to start with love and then refine love with wisdom later on as you go. So love is the entrance point. Love is the first step in terms of expanding yourself and tapping into this flow of infinite abundance, which is actually the mechanism of the universe. It's structurally speaking, the energetic flow of the universe is infinite, endless possibility. Always, all the time, from any point of existence to any other point of existence. So you're never lacking in any point of existence and you are a point of existence. You can never lack because you always have connections to every other point of existence. Because honestly, there's only one point of existence. So as you give, you are giving to yourself. Because there's only one point in existence. There's only one being in all of creation and it is all of you.